write a C program to count the number of positive, negative and zeros in an array. So if user entered number is greater than zero, then it must be a positive number, right? So if user entered number is less than zero, then that number is considered as negative. If either of those cases are false, then the number entered by the user is zero. So let us use this logic and write our C program. I will take a integer array variable a e of n. I'll be making use of macro here. I'll define macro n shortly. So p for positive, n for negative, and z for z for zero. So I'll assign zero to it to avoid garbage values. So let me define the macro n. I'll assign 10 to it. So now the usual stuff. I'll ask the user to enter percentage d integer numbers. The value of percentage d is present inside macro n. So now regular for loop, i is initialized to zero because i is equal to zero. Because index starts from zero, this for loop iterates until i is less than n. And for each iteration of this for loop, i increments by one. So we collect user enter number and store it inside the array variable a from index zero to nine, 10 elements, okay? So now iterate through this for loop, that is iterate through all the array elements one by one and check if the selected array element is greater than zero. In that case, that number should be positive. So I'll increment the value of P by one, else if the selected number is less than zero, in that case, the selected number is negative. So I'll increment the value of n by one, that is n plus plus. Else, if both these conditions are false, then that number must be zero. So I'll increment the value of z by one. So now let me output the result onto the console window. Positive number, colon, percentage d slash n. I'll write the result here itself. Negative number, colon, percentage d. Again, I'll print the zero here itself in this line of printf itself. So the values are present inside variable p, n, and z. So let me compile and run this program. So I must give combination of negative, positive, and a zero. I'll give minus five, minus four, minus three, minus two, minus one, a zero, and one, two, three, and four. So we have four positive numbers, of course, one to four, one, two, three, and four, and five negative numbers, minus one to minus five, and one zero. Now, I'll show, I'll modify the program a little bit to optimize this code, okay? So instead of writing two for loops, I'll eliminate the second for loop and write the logic inside the first for loop itself. So first, I'll ask the user to enter the value for array variable a. Once the user enters a number, there itself I'll check if the user entered number is positive, negative, or zero. And accordingly increment or increment the variables p, n, z according to the number entered by the user. Okay. So this way we, we need not iterate through all the array elements again using second for loop. So we can safely eliminate this for loop. So this is the optimum way of writing this program. So let me compile and show the result once again. So this time I'll start with minus four. So I'll enter 10 integer numbers, minus four, minus three, minus two, minus one, zero, one, two, three, four, and five. So we have five positive numbers, that is starting from one to five, four negative numbers starting from minus one to minus four, and one zero. So that's working perfectly. So this is how we, we count the number of positives, negatives, and zeros in user entered array elements okay so and this is the optimum way of writing this code so please visit the link present in the description section of this youtube video for source code notes and discussion about this topic please stay subscribed to our youtube channel and blog share this video with your friends on whatsapp telegram linkedin twitter facebook etc and please do not forget to like this video on youtube thank you